Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to look at launch configurations and auto scaling groups. And the best way to learn about launch configurations and auto scaling is to go ahead and get your hands dirty. So let's log into the AWS console. Okay, so I'm in the AWS console. Do go, feel free to go ahead and delete uh, your load balancer. So you can go ahead and just hit delete. Then you go over to your target groups. You're gonna to have to wait a little bit to delete the target group, I think. Um, so if I go ahead and hit delete now, I might get an error message. No, that's worked. And then I'm just gonna go up here and delete my EC2 instances as well. And then what we're gonna do, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to provision an auto scaling group. So just go in and hit terminate and yes, terminate. So those are now terminated. I'm gonna go over to auto scaling. So auto scaling, if you scroll down, is down here, it's under load balancing. And in order to create an auto scaling group, first thing we need is a launch configuration. So in here we've got our launch configuration. So we're gonna go ahead and hit create launch configuration. And we're gonna use the Amazon Linux 2 AMI. And we're gonna use a T2 micro. I'm gonna go ahead and configure our details. So in here, we're gonna call it my uh, ASG, so auto scaling group, launch configuration. And in here, um, the IAM role, you can give it a, a particular IAM role. So you could give it S3 admin access, for example. In here, we've got our advanced details. Um, so this is where we would pass a bootstrap script. Okay, so this is the bootstrap script that we're going to use. It's very similar to the last one that we used, um, but we've just changed it to web server one, web server two, to, to just welcome to the EC2 fleet. So let's go ahead and copy that into our clipboard. It's available in the resources section of the course. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here. And then down here, it says um, IP address type. So you can only assign a public IP address type to instances launched in the default VPC and subnet. Or you could do it so that you assign a public IP address to every instance. Or you could say, hey, don't assign public IP addresses. I'm just gonna leave it as the default. Let's go ahead and add our storage. Um, so we're just gonna leave it as default. Uh, we only need eight gigs. In here, select an existing security group. You want it in your web DMZ. Go ahead and hit review, and then go ahead and create the launch configuration. And you will need to say that you've got access to your key pair. Now doing this doesn't do anything. It's just a launch configuration. It hasn't launched any EC2 instances. However, we can create an auto scaling group using this launch configuration and that will start to deploy our EC2 instances. So in here we could call it um, a Cloud Guru ASG. So that's our group name. ASG is just auto scaling group. It's using the ASG launch configuration. Group size, let's start with a minimum of let's say three instances. I'm gonna put it into our default VPC. In here, we've got our subnets. If you go ahead and just click in all of them, it will um, use randomly assigned subnets. And if you're launching three, it is intelligent enough not to just put them all in one subnet. It will spread them evenly out across an availability zone. In here, we have our advanced details. Um, so we can go ahead and put these behind an elastic load balancer with health checks. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that just yet. We'll do that in the WordPress section of the course. Uh, and I also just deleted my load balancers as well. So let's go ahead and hit next. And then we can say, keep this group at its initial size or use scaling policies to adjust the capacity of this group. And if we do this, we can start creating policies to allow our, our EC2 instances to scale out in the event that there's going to be a lot of traffic. So I'm gonna say but scale between three and let's say between six instances. So you can change the metric type. I'm gonna use average CPU utilization. The target value is as soon as it goes above 80% CPU, then it's going to start scaling out. And then in here, instances need 300 seconds to warm up after scaling. And this is basically the amount of time your instances need to warm up. During this time, instances that have been launched will not contribute to the auto scaling metrics. So bear that in mind as well. Um, it, it, if we leave it as 300, then it will take five minutes before they um, contribute towards the metrics. Um, I'm gonna see and just do that for 60 seconds rather than 500 seconds, sorry, 300 seconds, which is five minutes. So let's go ahead and hit next to configure our configurations. Um, in here we can add a notification, so it could send us an SNS notification. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, in terms of our tags, I'm just gonna say name, my ACG, so my auto scaling groups, and go ahead and hit next. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create my auto scaling group. 
Okay, so that is now created successfully. If I just maximize this down here, I'll be able to go in and have a look at my activity history. So you can see it's launching my three EC2 instances and you'll be able to see your instances in here. I've already got two in service, this one's pending. If I go up to my dashboard, I'll be able to see it. Uh, and I've got my two running instances. I've got one that's still coming up online and I've just hit refresh and these are all up online now. So if we go in, we could go in and um, start trying to stress out the CPU or we can go ahead and simulate a failover. So let's go ahead and delete some instances and see what happens. So we've got our instance state in here. I'm gonna go ahead and terminate it. I'm gonna terminate one in US East 1A and I'm gonna terminate another one in US East 1C. And what we'll do is we'll see how, whether or not um, our auto scaling group is going to detect that and how it's going to go ahead uh, and recover from that. So I'm just gonna pause the video. I'm gonna wait for these two instances to be terminated. Okay, we can see that those two instances have now been terminated. And if we hit refresh, we can see another instance is now up and running. And I bet you if we just keep hitting refresh, we'll be able to see another instance very, very soon. So what auto scaling is doing is it's detecting that that has failed. If we go back over to our auto scaling groups, we should be able to see this in the activity status. And in here we can see that it's um, terminated an instance uh, and then it's gone on and launching a new EC2 instance. And the reason for that is we have a minimum um, scaling policy. If we have a look over here, desired capacity three, minimum of three, maximum of six. So we should also get one more instance being provisioned as well, but it can take a little bit of time to detect uh, that it has failed. Uh, and I think we have set that cooldown period for like 60 seconds as well. Um, so let's just, I'm um, just gonna pause the video and wait. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's go ahead and hit refresh. And there we go. We've got our third EC2 instance. So it has gone in and fixed that for us. Also note that it's put it back into the same availability zone. So we've it's been spread out evenly across our availability zones. So 1A, 1B, and 1C. You could also log into these three EC2 instances and install a program that would max out the CPU. Um, if you wanna go do that as an extra homework assignment, you can. I'm not going to, I'm sure you get the point, based Basically, it's going to scale up and add instances as uh, as the need uh, arises. I'm going to go through and delete this auto scaling group now. When you delete an auto scaling group, the instances beneath it will be deleted as well. So we just go over to actions and hit delete and then hit delete and that will delete the auto scaling group and start terminating all my instances. And you can actually watch that just by going in, in here. So that is it for this lecture, everyone. In the next lecture, we're going to look at the principles behind high availability. And then what we're gonna go on and do is we're going to make a highly available WordPress site on AWS. And again, it's a great way just to piece everything together that we've learned so far. We're gonna be using Route 53. We're gonna be using load balancers. We're gonna be using EC2. We're gonna be using RDS, we're going to be using multi AZ for RDS, we're going to be using auto scaling groups, um, we're going to be using AMIs, uh, a whole bunch of different AWS services and technologies. So if you've got the time, please join me in the next lecture. Thank you.